Dion meet Burger and I'm gonna love it so much! Ah! Look at look how excited she is! Look how excited she is! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> is air coming out of your tires? <laughs> so it's like it. Yeah, but one of my thighs was losing. <laughs> horsey! Horsey, horsey, horsey! Here I am at beautiful yam chops. Now, mommy's gonna try the Beyond Burger, and I'm gonna get the Beyond Burger too. I got pasta salad, she got kale salad, and I'm so excited! Got another burger, and this time it's with Bang Bang Noodles. So here's what happened after I ate both of the Beyond Meat burgers. So I ate it, I ate both of them, okay? And then my mom picked out some Mandarin uh, chickenless chicken uh, from Gardein. And so we left, and so we went to the source in Mississauga so that she could get a really good webcam so that we can finally stream and like have a live stream that actually looks good. So the thing is, we spent like two hours there and it was uncomfortable because I was standing for so long and at some point I started to have like this it was a pain like here where I hit my head yesterday or I hit my head last night and the pain was just like all over there and like my ears were burning especially this one and like the pain was just like in a in a line just kind of came here it kind of looked like headphones if, if like you see what's going on in my head <laughs> anyway it to me it kind of looked like headphones but I mean the pain in my head was like really bad because I was standing for so long and I guess the nerves in my body weren't happy about me standing for so long and so what I did was they gave me like this little uh, step stool to sit on and that's pretty much the only sitting area that I had uh, while my mom decided what she was gonna get or the whole situation so then finally we came home after a while we went to shoppers to see if we were gonna get vitamins and then ended up not getting the vitamins. <gasps> Did I take the magnesium? I, okay, so what I've noticed is that the only different thing that happened when I had the seizure yesterday is that I didn't have magnesium. Actually, I think I took magnesium, but it was when I was already feeling bad. By the time I got the magnesium, it was already pretty much like two, three minutes before the seizure happened. So I guess the magnesium didn't have time to be absorbed by my body. And so I had the seizure. But besides the facts of the seizure, I was feeling bad when we were outside. But like, as soon as we got home, not so much in the hallway because there's so many people that like the energy gets transferred, but I mean as soon as I got home, like in my apartment, I felt much better, especially because I saw my dogs and their adorable little babies and Zina is the cutest little noodle. <laughs> And sometimes when she walks, it looks like she's trotting like a horse. It's really, really cute. And Debbie's uh, an adorable, big, fluffy teddy bear. It's 
so it's hard not to feel better. And Zena's asking for water, so I'll do for that. <laughs> so pretty much when we got home, fed the dogs and they had water and stuff and we went out and whatever. And so I decided I was gonna make myself some food because I was hungry. Because for some reason I am always hungry. Or I guess when I'm sleeping I'm not really hungry because my body's like, nah, you don't need to eat. <laughs> anyway, so I had this Mexican style rice. I remember with the comedy. Comedy? God, my brain. With the company of the package was, but it was like a, it was a Mexican style rice with like even dried beans and dried vegetables inside. And I cooked that and put it with my food. I cooked, I actually technically baked um, the mandarin style chickenless chicken nuggets <laughs> uh, with some mushrooms and I mixed in some spices so it would taste really good and put avocado put some lemon juice and obviously coconut oil because I need to get in my oil so my brain can function properly and um, so I don't have any more episodes where my tongue doesn't work properly and I sound like I'm just blabbering some gibberish. It's a bit frustrating because today if I go for a certain amount of hours or if I go a certain amount of time just in general, uh, even like 10 minutes without talking, then my tongue will start to feel weak again because I bit it yesterday. I didn't bite it as hard as I usually do, but I still bit it. So it's trying to heal and like, I don't know why, it just feels weak. It feels swollen. And I think that's the reason that my speech is off because it's swollen because of the injury. Um, but besides that, basically I ate food, I left some for my mom, of course, and she's gonna eat some of that, and ooh, I put pickles and olives in it. She doesn't really like the olives because it's got lemon in it, and it's actually got like tiny pieces of like the lemon peel inside the olives, and she doesn't really like that, so more for me and actually the <laughs> the jar is empty because of me so yeah uh, while I was cooking the rice I decided I was going to cheer someone up because well, there's a certain someone that I wanted to just help out because they have depression and anxiety and it, it kind of got stronger recently so I know what that feels like and I just when I know somebody is struggling with it I just want to do my best to help them out and so that they can feel at least a little bit better so I can at least help to brighten their day so they don't feel that or at least not as much so they feel like they can defeat the depression and anxiety because it's pretty much why I practically only watch comedy movies and stand-up comedy because it helps me fight against the depression and anxiety that is beating down the wall and 
trying to just tear me down. And I, I really don't want anybody to feel like that because it, it really sucks. So here's to feeling happy. Still kind of annoyed though because I still have this bump on my head and it just, it hurts. And I know I shouldn't touch it because touching it hurts and I'm still touching it because I don't know, it's, it's, it's a weird thing. Like you tell somebody not to touch something and then they want to touch it. And like, it's my own head. I'm telling myself not to touch it, and I want to touch it. Okay. Psychology. It's fine. She didn't hump Debbie's head today, as far as I know. She's just been whining for belly rubs because she wants all the attention. And we almost found her boyfriend to play with. Today, but uh, I think he might have been too big for her because he was taller than Debbie and Xena can hardly like get over him when she's playing with Debbie so who's a good girl who's a good girl <laughs> she's so cute did I mention I'm watching RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm finally watching uh, season 9 because they obviously don't put out the seasons as they come out. They come it out. They come it out. Eh? My brain. They put out the seasons the year later when the new season is coming out. Now that's the end of the vlog. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel and my health channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays and my health channel for tips and tricks on being vegan and to learn more about my epilepsy. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Mwah, 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 mwah.